Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because we are going to be reviewing a mask that I have wanted to try for a really long time. It is called the Mighty Marshmallow Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask and it is by the company Bliss and this is what it looks like. I did just get the mini one for now and then if I like it, I'm going to go back and get the bigger jar. So if you guys want to see how this mask works out for me, then stay tuned. All right, so I read some about this mask and it's pretty popular. Um, it has a lot of reviews. I heard that it feels really good on your face. It's very hydrating and soothing. And let's see, I'm trying to find the ingredients. Dang it, they were probably on the box and they don't have the box. So let's just jump straight into it. The direction says smooth a thick layer onto clean, dry skin, avoiding the eye area. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, rinse thoroughly, and back. Sorry, guys. Rinse thoroughly. And bask in your radiance. Use two to three times per week. So, did I show you guys what it looks like? I love the Bliss packaging on all their products. They're so cute. Um, I get I got this at Target, which Target's really cool because they have like kind of like Ulta does and Sephora does, like a little tiny beauty uh, counter section with little. Um, things like this, little samples of different products that you could try out before you actually go and buy the bigger, bigger versions of them. So let's go ahead and put this mask on. Take off my glasses. So, oh my goodness. So I have not really used a lot of Bliss products. Um, I heard about this mask like... I don't know about a month ago I just heard about it just by Instagram and I actually saw this girl a video of her using this mask and I saw her putting it on her face and I didn't know what it was and it just looked so smooth and soft going on her face oh, I look like don't I look so cute <laughs> um, but it looks so soft and smooth going on her face so that's why i was like really excited to try it because it just looked like whipped cream on her face so ooh, this is pretty oh my gosh you guys it smells just like marshmallows i am not even lying this is the texture of it it's so creamy so excited okay here we go. Ooh, it feel, oh my gosh, this has to be literally the softest mask I have put on my face ever, ever. And also this is not any kind of like mud mask, so I don't believe that it will dry. I think it just stays a creamy consistency on your face until you wash it so I mean that's good because I love a good mud mask but also if you use them too often they can dry out your face especially if you leave it on longer than the recommended time then it will definitely dry out your face I have very very dry skin and especially during the winter time oh my gosh it's horrible I like literally hate my skin during the winter time because it's just so dry and flaky and itchy just very uncomfortable so if i really like this mask then i am definitely going to go get the bigger jar because honestly there's not a whole lot in in this jar i've already used probably half of what's in here but i think i paid what did i pay I believe it was around three or four dollars 
So really, I mean, three or four dollars, I'll spend to try something out to see if I like it. And I think the bigger jar is around 10 or 15 dollars. I may be wrong, but I believe it's 10 or 15 dollars. I don't know. But I think that's a good price for, you know, um, a big jar of this stuff because the jar I did see, I can't remember how many ounces it was, but it did look like you got a nice amount of the product inside that jar. So, oh my gosh. I cannot explain to you guys how good this feels on my face. It feels like I am putting baby oil on my face, even though it's not like slick and sliding down my face. It literally is just the softest velvety feeling in the world. And when you first put it on too, it is very, very like cooling to your skin. I just, I love that. I love it. It does say to put a thick, um, thick layer on there. So I'm trying to get a nice thick consistency on my face. You know, for the longest time, I Glam Glow was like my go-to brand for masks. I literally used them for years, and I would not use any other mask but Glam Glow just because I was stubborn and I don't know. I just I loved their all of their masks. I had the um, Youth Mud, which I still have actually, it's right here. The Youth Mud, oops, there's a cotton ball. The Glam Glow Youth Mud. I had the Gravity Mud, that's probably my favorite and I'm actually out of that right now. I need to go get another jar because the Gravity Mud, I completely love so much. It's actually a firming and tightening mask and as soon as you put it on you've probably seen a lot of people use it it's that really shiny silvery mask that was all over the internet for a while it may still be people are probably still reviewing it but i love that mask because as soon as i put it on i can feel my skin tightening and a lot of people don't like those kind of masks that you can like feel your skin tightening underneath but I love it because I am starting to show a little bit of aging signs. So, you know, I'm trying to really work hard at really taking care of my skin and giving it the TLC that it needs so that it can really, you know, in the future, I can be proud of it and not regret um, regret not doing these things for my skin so that's why it's very important you don't have to spend a lot of money you don't have to get glam glow or even bliss products or the high-end products there's so many products out there that are not very expensive at all that work amazing I have tried so many products that are like way too expensive and they're crappy products. They do nothing for my skin. They absolutely suck. So that's why I'm telling you, you literally, as long as you get um, what's right for your skin type, then, you know, that's what's important. And if you like it, that's what's important. It doesn't matter the cost or the brand or anything like that. So, all right, we have the mask on right now. Wait. I have the mask on right now. I am going to leave it on for, um, I'm gonna go, it says 10 or 15 minutes. I'm gonna do 12 minutes and I will see you guys back in 12 minutes. Hi guys, I'm back and that was so refreshing. I love how easy that was to get off my face. I literally took a rag and with like a few gentle sweeps it just came off so nicely and my skin feels so soft i just i kept touching it after i washed it off because it's just so smooth and i just i love the feeling i love that feeling when you rinse a mask off your face and 
while you're rinsing it, your hands glide over it and you can just feel your face like, and it just feels your fingers just run off of it because it's so smooth. I love that feeling. And so all in all, I would give this mask a 10 out of 10 because this is right up my alley. It's pink. It's a marshmallow mask. It's so girly. The packaging is so cute. So I will definitely be repurchasing this in the bigger, um, the bigger jar. So before I go though, I did want to let you guys know, I purchased another uh, product while I was there at Target that I want to warn you guys about, okay? It is called the Aloe Vera Powder One Ingredient Customizable Mask. It is a DIY mask. So it comes in this, and they, this is the Aloe Vera, but they have several different kinds. Um, what I... I, I just hated this mask so much for so many different reasons, but I'm going to try to narrow it down for you guys. I open the pack when I get home. It has literally this much powder in it, that much, which I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. This could be a great mask, and that could be more than enough for my skin. So I go to read the directions on the back. Let me read them to you. How to use. Mix water or SW Basics rose water until powder takes on gel-like feel, okay? So what you're supposed to do is basically put it in a bowl or keep it in the pouch and add water to it until it becomes like a gel form, okay? So then it says apply as a face mask or cleanser and rinse off with warm water. That's all it says. Doesn't say how long to leave it on. Doesn't say exact measurements on here, nothing. So I go ahead and I mix it in a, in a bowl and I literally put like two drops of water in this bowl and that powder like, it's nowhere to be seen. Like it just disappears and I'm like, where did the powder go? And as I'm stirring it, it's like way too runny and I, I barely put any water in it. So I'm like, well, maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Maybe it'll eventually turn into a gel-like consistency. I don't know. So I take a, my mask brush. I use this brush for applying like gel type masks. I really don't use this for mud masks because I don't want to ruin it because I love it so much. But I take this brush and I start applying the mask. When I apply it, it's like running down my face. Like, like it's just water. Like the powder literally, I don't know where it went, but it was gone. And so I'm, I'm literally doing this and I'm holding right here and I'm trying to keep it from dripping everywhere. So I finally get it on my face and I, I'm like, God, I hate this, but okay. Well, when it's sitting on my face, it becomes so tacky and it starts to make my face feel gross. I, I can't explain it other than that. It just, it makes my face feel gross, like, like icky and like I want it off, like I want to get it off. So since it did not say a time on the package, I waited I think like maybe seven minutes that's all I could stand because it just kept on just making me feel gross so I rinsed it off and I really rinsed it good I rinsed it like five times six times then I dry it off my face is still sticky rinse it another five times it's still sticky it took me like 30 minutes to rinse this stupid mask off of my face. It was just terrible. This is probably the worst experience I've had with a mask. And you guys know I did that video on the Amazonian clay mask and I thought that was bad. I'm going to say this was worse because not only was my face sticky and I was just, I was irritated. I was mad. I was mad at myself for even buying this stupid thing because it's just a waste of money. Even though it was only 
like two to four dollars I don't remember exactly I could have spent that on something else another you know sample mask that really would have you know made me happy instead of making me frustrated like this one did so if you're in Target and you see these kind of masks save your money it's really not worth it I mean you can try it if you want to maybe you'll have a better experience with it I just absolutely hated it will never buy these kind of masks again and I think it is by let me see if I still have the it's by SW Basics, so I've never heard of that brand, but, you know, it could have been just this aloe vera, blah, 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 aloe vera mask. I mean, maybe the other ones aren't as bad as this one was, I don't know, but I will not be ever going near one of those kind of masks again. So I thank you guys so much for watching me and taking time out of your day to listen to me talk about skincare and all that good stuff. So I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later.